Developing right now also two police officers involved in Friday shooting of a man at a CTA redline station are now stripped of their police powers. The decision came hours after a recommendation from the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey broke the news this morning. Now she's asking what comes next. The Civilian Office of Police Accountability said this witness cell phone video viewed nearly two million times since it was shot at the Grand Red Line station Friday afternoon wasn't the only reason behind their recommendation to strip the two officers of their police powers. They also reviewed video from CTA surveillance cameras, spoke with witnesses on the scene and sifted through the police reports and came to the conclusion that the officers who shot the unarmed rider, Ariel Roman, twice after he resisted arrest should face immediate repercussions. At last check, Roman was recovering in the hospital. The charges of resisting arrest and criminal narcotics against him were dropped over the weekend. This afternoon, Interim Superintendent Charlie Beck agreed with COPA, taking away the officer's service weapons and their authority to make arrests, pending the outcome of an external investigation. The next step, the matter will go before the police board. Written charges will have to be filed with the police board and then they'll schedule a disciplinary hearing. Today, the Chicago Police Department released the poli police report from this incident, including the officers' names, Melvina Bogard and Bernard Butler. Meanwhile, Roman's attorney said that today he was moved from the intensive care unit to a regular hospital room. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigator.